It's the biggest announcement, well, in a year at least. The HasLab has been announced, and we're going to talk about it more here on the Spidey New Radio Network. All right, so we have the HasLab, as seen on Hasbro Pulse's YouTube channel. They'd made the formal announcement. They launched it this morning. Uh, this is where we're recording this on Friday, September 8th. So if you are just now finding it, obviously it is available to be backed right now. All right, so we're looking first at the scale of this particular figure. This thing is the biggest hero that they've ever done. Now, this is not the first HasLab. As you may know, there was other HasLabs before. The first HasLab was the Sentinel HasLab, and the Sentinel HasLab was massively successful. Uh, the second HasLab was Galactus. Now, basically what Marvel Legends HasLab team has been doing with these particular HasLabs is they've been trying to create... Uh, recreate the Toy Biz Build-A-Figures and, and those at the scale that is proper for Marvel Legends. So those to, those Toy Biz Build-A-Figures were not necessarily as tall as these are. Yeah, but this one is two feet tall, has some really cool features with him. You got this great hand articulation that's with him. Uh, you got the ability to... He's got toe articulation, he's got penless joints, all the things you expect with modern articulation with this figure. And uh, also has a swappable face plate. So these face plates are going to be swappable. They're going to have several that come with him. There's going to be three different ones. you got a grimacing one, you got a smiling one, and then you've got a stoic one. Uh, they also are using some high-quality material. Looks like this is like faux leather type thing, and it's also going to have a bit of a texture to it, uh, at least with these. Di these are the renders that you're seeing right now are digital renders, so they are subject to change. If you're familiar with the digital renders of the Spider-Man No Way Home 3-pack, you'll understand what I'm saying here. But this is a really great thing for people that have been really hoping to get their hands on a actual Hasbro-produced Giant Man. Now, one thing they did say in the towards the end of this stream is that they weren't going to include any additional figures. That is probably potentially subject to change, depending on the demand. I mean, if they if they get to fourteen thousand backers on this, then it's going to uh, probably change the, the the projection here. But I really think that uh, they've done a really good job. They've got some extra stuff that they're going to be throwing in on this. I'm excited for it. I'm looking forward to it. Um, but the price is also something that I'm looking forward to. So. The other two HasLabs were $350 and $400, respectively. Now, you were also getting figures. You were getting the figure itself, but you were also getting small 6-inch figures. So to cut down on the costs that were going to be associated with this figure, they are now making it $199. So, what are the stretch goals? Well, the stretch goals are going to be alternate heads. So an alternate head for um, a scroll-like head and a zombified faceplate is going to be what the stretch goals are. I think the zombified faceplate are is going to be the first, and then the uh, scroll variant of this would be the second. So if you're looking to create your secret invasion uh, diorama, this would be the figure you want to get. At 199 I mean, you can buy two of these and pay what you paid for Galactus. So this is a, an exciting thing. Uh, as of when I'm recording this right now, let me look. I'm going to look and see. I'm going to refresh the page already has over 1500 backers so uh it's already you know 20 percent yeah we're almost 20 percent of the goal so that's uh that's a very encouraging sign now these usually uh they've got 45 days uh for this to fund so 45 and a half days before this is uh before this campaign is over you'll see a lot of the uh advertisements i'm sure i think they've got some cons coming up and you're going to see the, either the prototype or the advanced prototype out on the street. This uh, news edition up. I really appreciate you guys watching. And uh, hopefully you give us a like, a share, and a subscribe. Let us know how we're doing by leaving us uh, any comments down below. Are you going to back this task now? Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of it. And we'll see you next time here on the channel.